comes back in. Well, at least the weather's getting better. I'll be sad if it snows again. You know what's in spring? Prom! Dennis and Ben went to go find out more. May 11th is a day where people go to prom and have fun. But what are the origins of prom? I don't know. Let's find out. The first proms were held in the 1920s, and it was seen as a way to instill manners onto children under the watchful eyes of chaperone. Prom became common among the 1930s. Prom has been a way for juniors and seniors to connect in a more adult-like level. So what are some students' feelings about prom? It turns out to be a formal dance with the tuxedos and the dresses. I don't know, it's pretty fun. I've been there once. I think prom's going to be fun, and I can't wait to go. I got nothing better to do. I'm kidding. Prom is a really good place to seriously spend a lot of money. Prom is a great opportunity for our kids to have a good time, and my goal every year as prom coordinator is to make it less of a couples event and more of an event that all the juniors and seniors can come to and enjoy. So why do you think people spend so much money on prom? For the ladies. <laughs> I hope you learned a lot about prom, and I hope you get to take that special someone to prom one day. Yes, I agree. It's been Dennis Conner and Ben Stevenson reporting for Spotlight. Spotlight. And one more thing, Virginia, will you go to prom with me? Thanks, guys. You ever wonder what it takes to make a Spartan Spotlight video? Chloe Shaw went to do a Spotlight on Spotlight. <laughs> Spartan Spotlight at work. Spartan Spotlight is real hard work. With filming and editing, there's really no time to mess around. We asked Mr. Ragnus what students would like Spartan Spotlight. A lot of different kinds of people do well in Spotlight. Like, uh, there are kids who are really good at editing, some kids are really good with the camera, and some people are really good on camera. We asked Spotlight students what they thought about the class. And I have a lot of fun in here. Uh, it's a lot tougher than it seems, though. I really like getting to go out and record video for people. Though I'm not usually in the videos, I'm still behind the scenes. It's fun, a little stressful sometimes, but overall it's a great way to get out of a classroom, walk around, actually get the chance to go film. It brings us kind of closer together because we get to learn about everyone's thing, or what they're doing, or what they're into, and it just helps us connect with each other. It's, I, in my opinion, probably better than a newspaper club. More interactive with other people. Spotlight on Spotlight. Thanks, Chloe. There's another talented musician here at Simley, and her name is Sam Pedalty. Lindsay Morgan is going to go interview her. Um, I've been playing guitar now for about five months since like the end of this last summer. spend a lot of downtime playing guitar. Um, like any chance I get, like anytime I'm just like sitting around, I'm pretty much always on my guitar and learning something new. I do write my own songs. I've written quite a few that I play for my cats. <laughs> Sometimes I like to piss off the neighbors and turn up my amp really loud and <laughs> play with the windows open. Yes, I take guitar lessons. <laughs> I'm learning pumped up kicks, and then I just learned I Have to Say I Love You in a Song by Jim Croce. My favorite song to play is probably That's Skinny Love by Bon Iver. Um, my family's actually pretty musical. My sisters were both in choir, like, and my dad is really into music, and he's kind of the one who's gotten me into music over the years. I have played a few times with my uncle. Um, he has a band. He played a few times with them at the Astor Cafe. Music's a big part of my life, so it'll continue to be a big part of my life for the rest of my life. Thanks, that was really interesting. Now for some student ads. Hello, my name is Nick Caden, and currently I'm working on my Eagle Scout project. What I need is backpacks, self bags, and sleep bags. If you're looking to donate, there'll be a bin waiting for you in the main office. These items can be in any condition. If broken, they'll be recycled. 
good conditions, they'll be donated to Joseph's Co. located in West 7th, St. Paul. Thank you for your time. I have Simply Pride because I am patient, I pick up trash, I volunteer in classroom, I have fun and smile. Well, that's it for this week, guys. Now go outside and enjoy the weather. This has been Emily Earhart and Zach Aiden reporting for Spartan Spotlight. Follow us on Google Plus and Facebook and Twitter and Vine. <laughs>